Water, the essence of life, has been a crucial resource throughout human history. Civilizations have risen and fallen based on their ability to manage this vital resource. In the arid regions of the Middle East, access to water determined the success or failure of ancient communities. Ancient Iran, with its vast deserts and dry climate, faced significant challenges in sustaining its populations. Agriculture, the backbone of ancient societies, required a steady and reliable source of water. Rainfall was sporadic, rivers were few and far between, and traditional wells were often insufficient. Amidst these challenges, the ancient Persians developed a revolutionary water management system that transformed their society. This system, known as the Khanat, allowed them to tap into the groundwater sources deep below the surface and bring it to where it was needed most. The Khanat system is an underground network of tunnels that capture groundwater and channel it to the surface for agriculture and daily use. This ingenious system allowed ancient Persians to cultivate land that would have otherwise remained barren. The origins of the Khanat system date back to over 3,000 years ago, making it one of the oldest water supply systems in the world. It is believed to have originated in ancient Persia, and from there, it spread across the Middle East, North Africa, and even into Europe. Building a Khanat was no small feat. It required advanced engineering skills, a deep understanding of the region's geology, and a significant investment of time and resources. The process began with the identification of a suitable water source, usually an underground aquifer. Once a water source was identified, a vertical shaft, known as the mother well, was dug to reach the groundwater. This was often the most challenging part of the process, as it required digging deep below the surface, sometimes as much as 100 meters or more. From the mother well, a series of tunnels were dug at a slight incline to channel the water to the surface. The incline ensured that the water flowed naturally, without the need for pumps or other mechanical devices. Vertical shafts, known as access shafts, were dug at regular intervals along the tunnel to provide ventilation and access for maintenance. The construction of the tunnels was a delicate operation. The builders had to ensure that the tunnels were at the correct incline and that they did not collapse. This often required the construction of supporting arches and walls. The walls of the tunnel were often lined with clay or other impermeable materials to prevent water loss. Once the canat was complete, the water flowed to the surface where it was collected in a series of channels and pools. From here, it was distributed to the surrounding fields and communities. The water was often used for irrigation, but it was also used for drinking, bathing, and other daily activities. The canat system had a number of advantages over traditional wells and surface water sources. Firstly, it tapped into a reliable source of groundwater, which was less susceptible to droughts and contamination. Secondly, the underground tunnels kept the water cool and prevented evaporation. Lastly, the system required no external energy source, as it relied on gravity to move the water. The impact of the Khanat system on ancient Persian society was profound. It allowed communities to thrive in regions that would have otherwise been uninhabitable. It also enabled the growth of agriculture, which in turn supported larger populations and the development of more complex societies. The success of the Khanat system did not go unnoticed by neighboring regions. Over time, the technology spread across the Middle East and into North Africa. The Romans, who were known for their engineering prowess, adopted the Khanat system and integrated it into their own water supply networks. Over the centuries, the Khanat system evolved and adapted to the changing needs of the communities it served. New tunnels were dug, old ones were repaired, and additional features, such as windmills and water wheels, were added to increase its efficiency. Despite its age, the Khanat system continues to be used in many parts of the world today. In Iran, there are still thousands of active Khanats, some of which have been in continuous operation for over a thousand years. These ancient waterways are a testament to the ingenuity and resilience of the ancient Persians. The Khanat system is not just a feat of engineering, it is also a symbol of community cooperation and sustainable resource management. The construction and maintenance of a canat required the collective efforts of the entire community. It was a communal resource that benefited everyone and, as such, it was the responsibility of the entire community to ensure its continued operation. The principles behind the canat system are still relevant today. As the world faces increasing water scarcity, there is much to learn from the ancient Persians and their innovative approach to water management. Modern water supply systems, with their reliance on electric pumps and mechanical devices, are vulnerable to power outages and mechanical failures. The Khanat system, on the other hand, relies on gravity and the natural flow of water, making it a more sustainable and resilient option. The Khanat system also has environmental benefits. 
Unlike modern irrigation methods, which often lead to waterlogging and salinization of the soil, the Canat system provides a steady and controlled supply of water, minimizing wastage and preventing soil degradation. In conclusion, the Canat system is a remarkable example of ancient ingenuity and sustainable resource management. It allowed ancient Persians to thrive in one of the most arid regions of the world and laid the foundations for the development of their civilization. Today, as we grapple with the challenges of water scarcity and climate change, there is much to learn from the ancient Kanat system and its principles of sustainability, community cooperation, and resource management. Thank you for watching Middle East Info. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on the history, culture, and geopolitics of the Middle East.